Do you have Alltech Lansing leaking the Nintendo Switch 2 on your bingo card? Okay. I highly doubt any of us had Alltech Lansing as an audio company potentially leaking when the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to release, but that's exactly what happened today. That's right. We have to call this a leak because it does come from a real legit company. It happened through CES. It's pretty crazy. And if this is true, Nintendo is going to be very pissed off that this company leaked it out there. Although there's a caveat with what they said. And we're gonna dive into that caveat, but first, before we even dive into it, we need to make sure we get to the news itself. So we're gonna go ahead and head on over to Digital Trends. Look, this is being reported on at a bunch of places. This just happened to be the place that I saw it first. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As you see, Digital Trends says, an AI company may have just leaked Nintendo Switch 2 name and release month. Going down here, you see, as part of an ongoing wave of AI-related news at CES 2024, Alltech Lansing revealed an artificial intelligence-powered successor to Game Shark called AI Shark. More interestingly, the press release regarding the software claims Nintendo Switch 2 will launch in September of 2024. Formerly known as Game Shark, AI is set to redefine the gaming landscape with its revolutionary AI enhanced technology, Alltech Lansing explains in a press release. The innovative gaming software is set to mark a significant leap forward in the gaming experience, bringing enhanced gameplay for beginner level users. The official launch is planned to coincide with the Nintendo Switch 2 in September of 2024. Now again, Game Shark was a tool that allowed you to do cheating in games, so this would presumably be a more modernized version that would allow you to cheat in games on Switch 2. Of all things, that is uh, pretty interesting. But there's more to this story, because all tech lenses declared in this is very odd, considering Nintendo has not confirmed the name of the next console or the release window for it. That's right, this might have actually confirmed Nintendo's going to call it Nintendo Switch 2 as well. Pretty crazy. That means all tech Lancy either revealed this release window and name information earlier than it was supposed to, or it's speculating on the name and release window. Nintendo's next device in order to draw up hype for its AI product, which is probably the more likely thing. But we're not done. There's more to this story. In a follow-up to digital trends, Altic Lansing backtracked on the September release month, but confirmed that the tentative launch for the platform is fall 2024. It adds that Nintendo has not officially set the launch date yet, but does not deny the existence of the device or the fact it's set to launch this year, which is quite interesting because Nintendo hasn't said jack squat about anything related to this platform other than that it exists. They ever had anything confirmed to launch this year. All right. Digital Trends did reach out to the Nintendo to confirm the accuracy of the press release, and we'll provide an update when we hear back. As for what AI Shark is, Altec Lansing says it's a utilizing exclusive XGPT technology and real-time tensor processing units acceleration to elevate gamers' users' experiences by providing personalized hints and assistance that keep up with the fast-paced competitive gaming. Press release unveiling AI Shark does not explain what data set it will pull from in order to give players that advice, so we also asked Altec Lansing for clarification on that. Regardless of what they're saying is true, Nintendo Switch 2 might be hitting store shelves as soon as September of 2024. And that is pretty insane. If Alltech Lansing just accidentally leaked the Nintendo Switch 2's name and launch date, that would be... Damn, man. That is, we don't give two Fs. Now, to be clear, Nintendo has never really worked directly with all tech lansing then maybe they're involved in some of the technology behind the audio in the switch because that is what they're known for is their audio stuff so it's possible there is some sort of partnership there that we're not aware of but if they went ahead and leaked this stuff out there i think nintendo's canceling that partnership post haste and there might even be a lawsuit coming their way if this is like legitimately what happened i don't know if nintendo's going to go that far but there's some grounds for it here because this is the device Nintendo has not announced. It is pretty insane to me, assuming that this report is true. Now, this is where we have to get into the caveat. Uh, let me pull up something here quick for you guys. Now, here's the interesting thing about Game Shark. Mad Cats acquired Game Sharp from Interact for like $5 million. This happened all the way back in January of 
2003. And I double checked, Mad Cats has never resold the Game Shark branding. I find that to be 100% fascinating that another company is bringing up Game Shark. Now, if we go back to the original article here and we look back at the actual press release here, formerly known as Game Shark, AI Shark, uh, I don't know what to tell you, Alltech Lansing. You don't own Game Shark. So, Formerly known as Game Shark, are you also announcing at the same time the purchase of Game Shark from Mad Cats? Are you also, by the way, announcing that maybe you have purchased Mad Cats? Or have you announced a partnership with Mad Cats? I actually did some digging and none of those things have happened. So, All Tech Lansing is likely doing one major thing lying out their. No, I'm serious. They are lying out there. Now, no, no, no. To be clear, I'm not saying that AI Shark doesn't exist. I can't possibly know that. I'm not saying they don't know when Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out. I can't possibly know that. I'm not saying they don't know the name of the system and the release date of the system. Those are things I don't, I can't say they're not legitimately making a product that's licensed to use with a Nintendo Switch 2. I'm not saying any of that because they very well could. Alltech Lansing is actually not like a vaporware company. This isn't just some random company out there. This is a legitimate company that makes real products and has been around for decades, okay? This is a trusted brand. So I'm absolutely not saying that. What I am saying is the product they mentioned in Game Shark, they do not own any rights to. So there could be a partnership behind the scenes I'm not announcing right now that could explain this, but it's very fishy to me that they're saying Game Shark is now being called AI Shark when they don't actually own the rights to Game Shark. And when you look at Mad Cats, they're their own company and they're located in like Hong Kong. They're a Chinese based company. They own themselves. They're a self-owned company. I, I don't understand what is happening right now? This is one of the most confusing reports I've seen, but it's everywhere. It's on IGN. It's on GameSpot. It's everywhere. Everyone's reporting this because of course they are. How can we not? All Tech Lansing is a legitimate company that makes legitimate products that many of us have heard of. You go through their catalog of products, they make products that people use. They also, by the way, have partnered with a lot of tech companies over the years. So they are a legit company, and that's what makes this so confusing. To release, to be so bold at CES 2024 as to release a press release that boldly says we're releasing this product alongside Nintendo Switch 2 on X month. That is, oh, someone either made a big whoopsie or they're doing this for attention, right? That could be the big thing, but this is negative attention. This is going to be negative attention if it's not true. This isn't going to help AI Shark. This is going to make people not want to buy AI Shark. So I'm just curious, and again, I'm not saying AI Shark is vaporware. This is not a vaporware kind of company. They make real products. They've been around a long time. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, but hey, it technically is a leak because this is a legitimate company. The question is, do we think the leak is real? I don't know. The press release is, that's for sure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video.